that comes pretty easily, but I needed the methods to be able to do that. Like without some kind of like direction and then training yourself to do it, you won't really be able to do it. It's not exactly a natural skill, you know, to just focus and hold it there for minutes or like 10 or 15 minutes or even an hour. It's possible to do, but most people aren't close. And unfortunately, with the cell phones and everything we have going on now, we're trained to the other way. So it's like really important to, to work on it. One of my clients was talking about it with the book. She's like, you know, I'm really learning how to pay attention working through the book, just trying to get it into the different parts of the body. So it's a great way to train it. There's lots of ways to do it, but uh, it's a, a really good way to do it and improve your brain health at the same time. Absolutely. And again, it is at a practice at the end of the day, right? Like you're practicing to build your, your, your muscles, you're, you're practicing to, to eat clean. Like it's everything's in life is a practice and our practices are a process and the process turns into habits that stick. So any, any way that we can improve our processes, right? They, the process gets easier. If we make it easier on ourselves, then our habits will create better habits and they'll last longer. And yeah then it's like automatic and we're not think we don't have to think so hard about things. It's just, they flow, they flow. And you're like, you feel it. And then the more they flow, the, l the less effort that's required. Yeah. And then that becomes your future, you know, and that's like how you build 